Liver King. Have you guys seen all this stuff with Liver King? Obviously, most of you have probably watched, I'm assuming, the video by More Plates, More Dates. Absolutely fascinating one hour dissection of the Liver King and calling out all of his lies. And for me, I think it's pretty egregious. This stuff I've always hated. And I guess, hmm. Let's see it properly. Let's see. I've never really understood why. Yeah, this is the thing. I've never really understood why bodybuilders, fitness fanatics, crossfitters in general, why they lie about not taking performance enhancing drugs or steroids in general for their physique or for the look or whatever it may be. When they're already selling stuff like, for instance, if you're a fitness, my, this is my theory. This is my idea. Weird as it may be. If you're, um, if you're a fitness uh, influencer, bodybuilder, whatever it may be, fitness side advocate, and you're presenting it yourself in one way you got a six pack you got amazing biceps amazing chest you know legs are on fleek whatever it may be just because you take steroids doesn't mean you're not working hard in the gym we all knew we all know it's you can't just take steroids and suddenly you wake up and you look diesel and you look ripped you still have to go and do sets and reps in the gym you still have to do your cardio your workouts whatever you have to do to get yourself in that, in that to get yourself to look that way so it's not just a one plus one thing so i've never understood why if you're an influencer why you don't just say this is everything i do to achieve this look but i also use these supplements to aid me i use this protein i use this i use that because it's not as if people are not going to buy the stuff that you sell just because to use steroids the fact that you use steroids is one part but then if you say to them hey this protein also helps with my recovery or this particular band or whatever it may be they're still gonna buy it because especially for me having played sports and been a, a keen runner for a long time the one thing people care about a lot in those things is generally gear when it comes to workout stuff like you want the new shoes you want the new jacket you want the new watch the headband whatever it may be it doesn't matter who's using it even, especially if it's an olympian or somebody at the top level you just want it because you want to feel like like that person right Right? it's not exactly gonna make you run faster or make you lift bigger or make you a olympic champion but you just want a part of what that professional person has so for me it's always been a very odd thing in that whole world why a lot of those natural quote-unquote guys lie about doing steroids it's never really made any sense to me like we all know you do them because we all have enough information and knowledge nowadays about bodybuilding about human performance and working out and all that malarkey it's pretty hard to fool people now especially in this era i feel like in this era the more you try to fool people the more you try to present yourself to be one way people are going to go out their way to try to uncover you because no one likes a faker no one likes a liar and on social media there's a lot of people scamming and lying there's a lot of people also just that own up to their shit and say yeah i do this i do that so i never understood the idea of people lying about this or stuff anyway rolling stone organ devouring liver king blasted by bodybuilders all over alleged steroid use brian johnson who rocketed into their fame as a fitness and masculinity influencer calling himself liver king is facing a wrath of acolytes after um another bodybuilder presented what he says is evidence that johnson has been using steroids since august 2021 johnson a boastful heavy bearded man with a bulging physique a Apparently, not a single shirt to his name has been on Instagram following a 1.7 million by showcasing what he calls ancestral lifestyle. This program consists of nine tenants, one of which calls for a diet of primal fare, including animal lungs, testicles. Johnson achieved infamy with videos where he feasted on raw liver, grew giant spears, threw giant spears, sorry, and demonstrated extreme workout techniques, positioning himself as a modern caveman warrior and guru. These performances served as a marketing for his online business, Ancestral Supplements where you can buy capsules containing beef organs fish eggs bone marrow and other animal products so clearly what he's trying to sell is that the reason why he looks the way he does is because he eats this raw meat diet that's essentially what he's selling you when the truth is he's fucking steroided up throughout his years of successful filling his routine as well as his cow intestine pills johnson has consistently brushed aside accusation that there is something less than natural about his muscular physique when joe rogan alluded to his possible steroid use johnson said he was simply happy to be exposed to the wider audience this year casually accused of taking PED performance onto drugs by the host of barstool sports podcast part of my take he replied i'll be honest i take peds i prioritize exercise and dominate 
it every fucking morning. Oh, okay, fuck off. But Johnson now faces more detailed allegations that he's being juicing behind the scenes. It comes from another popular fitness entrepreneur with his own supplement business, a guy named Derek. He's never revealed his last name, who's made a reputation for himself as a trusted anti-PED crusader through his More Plates, More Dates YouTube channel, where he often speculates as to whether Jack dudes are natty or not. That is all natural on steroids. It has 1.51 million subscribers. On Monday, Derek released a video called The Liver King Lie, which has now been viewed 675,000 times. Please check it out if you haven't already. Yeah, a long expose recounts the history of Johnson's virality before delving into the number of emails Johnson allegedly sent to an unnamed bodybuilding coach in mid-2021, before he had officially launched his Liver King brand. In these messages, Johnson appears to relate his plans for gaining million social media followers within a few short months by pushing his body to the absolute limit. Uh, aided by human growth hormone regime that is costing him eleven thousand dollars per month derek also shared an even earlier unread email that he found in the depths of his own inbox in which in which the future liver king apparently asks for consultation and expresses interest in acquiring hgh in the request if johnson really made it would indicate that he was woefully unaware of derek's interest in unmasking steroids users professing to be professionally buff so he's got evidence in his own inbox of this guy reaching out asking for advice god almighty Derek did not reply to his request on the comment so it appears unclear how the majority of the emails if authentic wound up in his possession johnson did share a statement with the rolling stone but neither confirmed nor denied he had written the messages johnson wrote in an email to rolling stone that his messages has always been about the thousands of people who attempt to die by suicide each day noting that our people are hurting at record rates of depression oh look at this look at this deflection our people are hurting at record rates of depression anxiety autoimmune infertility and low ambition in life our young men are hurting and host and, and most lost weak and submissive he pitched ancestral living brand and solution and emphasized this is my fight in a weird way i'm grateful for the recent events that have shed a light on this complicated as fuck topic no it's nothing complicated as fuck about it you pretended that your body was completely natural from eating all that raw meat and now it's been revealed that you take steroids to achieve the look that you have so you're essentially a fake which is fine but there's nothing complicated about it there's nothing else to add just you know maybe hold your hands up and say i'm sorry and apologize but there's nothing to spin here you said one thing it was uncovered to be a lie it is what it is and obviously you made loads of money from it also which is flipping deplorable but hey what can you do in a weird way i'm grateful to the recent events that have shed a light on the complicated as fuck topic he continued he also offered to give his thoughts on a long form podcast which unfortunately was not an option on deadline this statement did not answer the questions about the story allegations of course the authenticity of the email Im images the derek's video or whether johnson would seek to assure followers that he had maintained a purely natural approach to physical fitness the funny thing about this is that in the midst of all of this he's still trying to shill he's still trying to grift let me come on your podcast and advertise myself and defend myself i think this is the main reason why joe rogan said he didn't want to have him on his show i think he reached out to joe rogan and he basically said until he admits he takes steroids i'm not having him on my show kind of thing i think that's what he basically said Johnson also took to Instagram on Tuesday showing a clip of himself chewing raw liver and the snowfield says what up primals he asked liver king here we just took down a, mon a, mon a Mongolian yak and where do you think we're going to start of course the liver most uh, because it's a liver king after taking a bite he bellowed in the catchphrase more at no point did he acknowledge Derek's video from the day before if Johnson is attempting to ignore the steroid scandal, the bodybuilding community isn't willing to go along with him. The video and other recent posts are deluged with negative comments from former fans and long-time haters. Must be nice to spend 15k a month on drugs. Reads a tough word reply on a workout clip. Johnson shared on Monday, I'm guessing you're huddling in your primal cave with your team, trying to figure out how the fuck to get out of this one. A disappointed follower said, while I do believe what you're preaching in general, you should be honest, man. Exactly. That's the main point here from a very careful and considerate fan. While I do believe what you preach in general, you should be have or you should have been honest, man. And I don't think anyone has any sort of problem with him preaching this primal lie thing, preaching about masculinity, a little bit, you know, a little bit chad, a little bit bro, a little bit flipping, you know surface level bullshit but clearly it comes from some kind of level of a good place do your thing everyone's got their niche everyone's got their gimmick that they kind of run with in terms of marketing but you can't promote a raw meat diet a raw meat kind of lifestyle and then be completely explosive as a fake and then try and spin it as some sort of good thing or use it as a i don't know it's weird on a liver video that dropped on derek's video takedown a user commented you could have just done what a lot of builder bidders do and never talk about drug use he said not surprising but still disappointing another predicted that dude's just gonna play off like it uh, uh like it's not over for his what 
dude is just going to play it off like it's not over for his bullshit. Indeed, it would seem that the short of refusing the email evidence, Johnson can also double down on his shtick. In Reddit's bodybuilding forums, many noted the suggestion that Johnson's reliance on steroids has helped propel his fame. It's also a long-running joke that made his wellness concepts the subject of both ridicule and fascination. He could have conquered the fitness industry if he wasn't such a mega fat, mega fake natty, said the reddit uh, user people don't care about juice they care about juice lords lying about their juiceness exactly so i said i never understood i've never understood it in general we all know most people especially if you've got that kind of a seek you're using some type of drug it doesn't matter because for the most part you still have to work out to get that you know to achieve a certain level of flipping muscular fucking bulkness whatever it may be cool but lying about it is just abhorrent it really is abhorrent